welcome back to the microelectronic video course in this lecture the physical operation of the n channel enhancement transistor is covered the operation of the n channel enhancement transistor is divided into four steps namely number 1 operation with no gate voltage number 2 creating a channel for current flow number 3 applying a small drain source voltage and number 4 operation as drain source voltage is increased firstly let us discuss mosfet operation with no gate voltage with no bias voltage applied to the gate that is all four terminals of the mosfet are grounded two diodes connected back to back in series can be seen between the drain and source region as shown in this figure one diode is formed by the pn junction between the n plus drain region and the p type substrate and the other diode is formed by the pn junction between p type substrate and the n plus source region these back to back diodes prevent current conduction from the drain and source when a voltage vds is applied therefore the current id in this case is zero the path between the drain and source offers a very high resistance of the order of 10 to the power of 12 ohm in the second step let us analyze the situation to create a channel for current flow the figure shows the enhancement type nmos transistor with a positive voltage applied to the gate here we have grounded source drain and substrate terminals since the source is at ground the voltage the gate voltage appears in effect between the gate and source and thus it is denoted as vgs the positive voltage on the gate causes the free holes which are positively charged to be repelled from the region of the substrate under the gate these holes are pushed downwards into the substrate leaving behind the carrier depletion region the depletion region is populated by the bound negative charge associated with the acceptor atoms these charges are uncovered because the neutralizing holes have been pushed downward into the substrate also the positive gate voltage attracts the electrons from the n plus drain region and source regions where they are in abundance into the channel region when a sufficient number of electrons accumulate near the surface of the substrate under the gate an n region is in effect created connecting the drain and source regions as indicated in this figure now if a voltage is applied between the drain and source current flows through this induced n region the induced n region thus formed a channel for current flow from the drain to source region the mosfet shown in this figure is called an n channel mosfet or alternatively n mos trans the induced n channel is also called an inversion layer at this point let us define the threshold voltage of this mosfet the threshold voltage is defined as the value of vgs at which a sufficient number of mobile electrons accumulate in the channel region to form a conducting channel is called the threshold voltage and is denoted by v sub t the value of the threshold voltage is controlled during the device fabrication process and typically lies in the range of 0.5 to 1 volts the gate and the channel region of the mosfet forms a parallel plate capacitor with the oxide layer acting as a capacitor dielectric further an electric field develops in the vertical direction it is this field that controls the amount of charge in the channel region and thus it determines the channel conductivity and in turn the current that will flow through the channel when a voltage vds is also applied 